Hi and welcome on the Bramley Apple YouTube channel. On the 16th of September I have a new shooting with Martina and I just wanted to go through with you in my camera bag to see what I'm going to use and why. Uh, I've seen the apartment where we will be shooting and it is very very small. We are talking about 38 square meters, so really small. And uh, so I have uh, a custom uh, kit to take with me uh, to try and tackle this uh, problem of the space. So let's start with the main camera that is still going to be the Panasonic Lumix S1. Uh, I will take only a couple of lenses for this camera uh, and they will be the 58mm by Voigtlander. 58 millimeters f 1.4 and this should do a lot of the job most of the job uh, particularly in the uh, in the area of the shall we say the living room uh, which is also the bedroom uh, so this will be the main uh, lens that I will use and will enable me to make also some uh, uh, full figure portraits of Martina. Uh, the other lens that I'm going to use with this camera will be the Contax Zeiss. This is the 100 mm f1 f2. So this is a very good lens. I've not used it very much for the moment still got the uh, rubber this is quite an old uh, style <laughs> piece of kit but I really like it and uh, it renders very well so I will be happy to use again this lens and uh, let's let's keep this out of the way for the moment and we see all the other equipment. Now for this particular shooting I will have to try and uh, work also in the bathroom which is uh, one of the rooms that I usually don't use for my shootings. I actually don't like very much uh, to use the bathroom but uh, in this case I will have to because I will have to try and use as many things as I have and all the space that is available. Uh, so to work in that particular room I will use the Nikon D810 36 megapixel so I will have a lot of details and uh, I will use it with a flashlight because it is impossible to work uh, in that kind of situation with available light or at least it is much more difficult so I will take with me also the Profoto A1 this is an older ver version now there is a, a A1X I believe I will take this with me and I will try to use it uh, as much as possible in a remote way uh, but I don't have the remote control so I will have to use an accessory which should be here I hope yes here it is so this is a, just a cable not, not of a particular well-known brand but this is a cable that will also keep uh, the TTL capability of the flash and so I will probably use this flash inside the bathroom at uh, 5.6 uh, f-stop or even 8 and uh, it will give me a powerful light to, to see all the details of the body of Martina. So this is, will be a different technique for me but it will be interesting to work with this. Uh, I will take the 50 millimeters for this camera. Uh, most probably it will be too cramped and uh, too small uh, in the bathroom so I might need a, a wider lens and uh, to have less problem I will take 
this zoom lens, which is a 28 to 70. This is a 2.8 professional lens, but it is uh, of some time ago. Uh, I think this will be the best lens to use in those tight spaces. Uh, it is not a lens that I like very much, um, just because uh, it is a utilitarian lens that I use for work, but uh, I, I rarely use it for nude photography. But in this case, I think it will save the day. So I will take it with me and uh, hope to do everything with the 50, but this will be with me and ready to be used if I need it. I always take with me also this, which is to clean the lenses. In fact, this has got a lot of dust, so I will have to clean it very well because this must have been used uh, on a track, on a race track the last time and has not been cleaned yet. So I will have to clean it very well. So next thing is, uh, Always in the bathroom, I have this accessory, uh, which is uh, for the Profoto flash. And this is going to keep the light bouncing in a certain part of the wall. I will not use the direct light probably from this accessory, but I will try and bounce it on a specific side of the wall. I would like to use it remotely and not uh, on camera, uh, this flash, but uh, probably I will have to put it uh, on camera. The problem with that is that if you do the landscape or the portrait format, then you will change also the, the light coming on the subject. So if I manage to keep this light uh, away from the camera and bouncing always in the same place on the wall, I should be able to have a consistent light coming on the on Martina. Uh, this probably will help me to keep, uh, this is just a clamp by Manfrotto, and this could help me to keep the flash attached to some uh, accessory of the bathroom and keep it away from the camera. So with this cable I will be able to have the TTL um, capability of the flash still active. Okay, the last thing, I don't know if I can use it also in the bathroom, but at least on the other rooms, on the other room, I will try and use it. And this is the Sony A7 for the backstage videos. Also in this case, I will try to make the backstage videos, uh, but in the bathroom probably there is not enough space we'll see, and probably not enough light, but in the other room I think I will be able to take some backstage videos. So this camera is already set on the video capabilities and with the 35 millimeters, uh, this is the Summicron, a very old Summicron, I think it was 1968 or 69, I don't remember now. Uh, this is uh, on the hyperfocal, so from uh, if I put 8 as a, uh, if I put f8, I have from about 2 meters up to 10 meters that are uh, sharp or reasonably sharp, and so I don't have to focus this. I just leave it on, on a little tripod and it will take what I need. And the little tripod should be here. Yes, here it is. This is more the small Manfrotto tripod to put on a table or whatever it uh, needs. And this is very useful. Uh, so for this type of camera, uh, I don't use a tripod for the main cameras with, for, with which I'm taking the pictures because those are always in my hand and handheld. Okay, so this is, ah, well, there is also this one. This is a, a LED panel. I might get some use also for this, but I'm not sure. This is very useful. Uh, so it is a new way 
to have light always with you. I've used it very rarely, but probably in the future it will become very important. And obviously I have uh, plenty of batteries, at least two for every camera, uh, and they're all charged up and ready to go. So take always a lot of batteries, at least two, and you have enough power to last you for all the shooting. And I will also take with me the Fujifilm X100V uh, because probably that will help me to take some pictures as well. Uh, I'm using it now to film uh, this video, so it is not available to see. But I hope the results will be good enough. Uh, obviously, that will not be one of the main cameras because it is uh, still uh, a small uh, size, uh, a cropped sensor. So I have not great faith in it. Uh, the quality seems to be good. I have used it once before, but uh, I still have to make some experiment with this camera. And so it will not be one of the main cameras to work with this shooting. So that is my camera bag. I hope everything will go well. And from the 17th of September, you will probably see the first pictures coming out from this shooting. Thank you very much and see you in the next episode.